Hey, what's up guys? Hi, my name is Nino of LRPT, a PSR teacher student. Today, we discuss all about architectural building materials, the use, specification, and their function. Let's go and enjoy what? Hi everyone, my name is Nino of LRPT, and today we discuss about glass and glazing. Glass and glazing. The type of glass can affect heat gain within the buildings. Also, various shading devices. Day transparency. Bigger house. Bigger house in New York is an early curtain walls building designed by architects Edmund Owens and Marion Sims. Curtain wall system. Non laid bearing. Okay, level spans, quoted by Claude Payne, light fabricated, prefabricated, climate modification, higher wind loads, image. Third tone system, English, English, visual connections, ratings, security. Terms, spandent glass, head, jump, seal, new limb. Third front system sits at age, including support, slab and exterior work, level paint slope, smooth and rough. You can see in the picture the spandle glass is here, and the head are these, and jump. Jump is on the other side of the head, and the seam, seam is the as uh, in the flooring, the medium. Building is supported by supporting the glass. And next one is framing. Student framing systemized anodized finishes. Basing tempered glass, expanded glass, tinted glass, coat glass, laminated glass for security, insulated glass. First, we have this tempered glass. This class is this one is the temple glass. This is the glass. This is the temple glass. And below the temple glass. And float glass. And float glass. Illuminated glass for security. And insulated glass. First, this is about the Glass type. We have temper, heat strength, laminated, pyrated, pandel, fitted. First, the window, plate, pattern, insulating, temper, heat absorbing, safety, while reflective, and corrective. Discuss about laminated glass. Laminated glass is made by some leaching. Classifying polyvinyl, literally, or PVD, interlayered between superoxides, binding the two layers together under heat and pressure. Um, when laminated glass meets the plastic sheet or the thickened glass in case, thus reducing the risk of injury in case of breakage. As you can see, the entry canopy and the high insulin is an Made from laminated glass, even by stainless steel, student materials. Tempered glass. When you say tempered glass, it's a glass that is heated from naturally clay, which causes its cool bed in 15 cells high. Heat absorbs glass, actinic glass, heat absorbing. Glass is a tinted to assume a high degree of solar radiation and thus to transmit dense solar heat into the buildings. It is usually the low in glass. Glass that has coating applied in the inside case with double in insulated that restrict thermal energy in a specific direction when depending on the case. 
kung sa bago ito, sa kong bago, yun nga, sa bago person, yun yun yun, the inside, the inside, and then hold the insulated glass, and when you say insulated glass, glass that increases our value, insulated value, and prevent condensation from forming a glass. In some of the details of the insulated glass, you know, it's white and still plastic, the black color. And still it means certain black is in two per pedium. That kind of rectangle matching. And the four providing green pressurization. Green, south open. Insulated glass, how? Insulated glass is made of glazing, which is a two or more sheet of glass insulated by and typically seal air space to provide thermal insulation, acoustical control, and absence of condensation. And manufacture from thermos energy glass. And especially to high glass. High glass, glass determines the impact on the state of expansion of time. Uh, maybe it is made from the facing environment in the middle of the glass during the manufacture process. This is the glazing. When you say glazing, this is the process of glazing glass or glazing in windows. And you can rather try to clean the glass and its paint. Glass panels set into grooves designed to receive them, held in place with glazing beds. Beds, points of clips, and cell in place with various glazing compounds. So you can see the details of glazing. Uh, first, the face coating, the paint, and the food with glass, double clean, that's the food stuff, little bed with stuff. So yeah, let's see my bed. Compound, the compound a compression sheet from steel frame and glass plastic or using plastic um it's from the glass frame it's not only the appearance uh, must always be allowed between the glass and frame so that the glass is surrounded by the water at sea glazing compound. In addition, glass must never replace the convection by expecting the greater force than frequency to withstand. Nor should glazing take place moisture might be trapped with good cause of water and sea decay. We will use for a particular effect in allowing the poor external expansion in the glass. Rather, this is the glass to glass gel. So, for the good, we put the silicon adhesive. That color and the glass, you know, so can put the glass in here. Silicon, good, breaker. And also the silicon. So, this one is the filtered glass. Filtered glass that has been painted on the surface with silk skin pattern and ceramic based paint. The paint consists of primarily pigmented glass, typically the alcohol bricks. Typical pattern and stripe of glass that custom design are easily reproduced. Curtain wall system. A curtain wall system is an exterior wall system that is attached to the structural framework of the building that carries no weight other than its own and wind room that is transferred to the glass. With aluminum and glass curtain walls, the vertical windows are attached to the floors or beams on the floor at every floor in order to carry the gravity and the wind. Attached mint devices allow the vertical windows to provide a perfect plan and state line for the entire height of the building. So, 
consume the details of the screen protein profile. This is the screen file minimum for the info. So we have the two info here and pop up standard panel in the installation. Standard glass. When you say standard glass, it's not optical glass for covering the brand halfway around the edge. Or in glass curtain walls construction. Construction. In plastic or acrylic is being used in acrylic details to glass in style. It's also in the style of gold details. First, when the style plastic bone in the upper and the metal retaining, big holes in the metal, third frame, the hook composite. In condensate character, wood curve, this one, and plaster, the uh, front and roof construction. So, this is the scale of curve. Yes. Structural glass base. Um, a structural glass base is made of printed glass sheet suspended from special clamps by spider fittings and very Stabilize against heat pressure by cutting the products to thinners and or fiber. Fiber thickness is for tempered glass to structure glass wall. Structure glass walls. Now transparent. Glass clean system. Glass clean system is um, stable in the glass. Okay. Alright, let's proceed to historical details about furniture. Hello, good morning. So let's go, Aldera. I'll be discussing furnishings. So let's go. Uh, first of all, chairs. This is uh, a list of chairs in the furnishing category. So, chairs. A chair. This is the image of a chair in its dimensions, as you can see. You can pause the video to see the dimensions. So let's move on because this is a little page. A lift chair. This is not, um, rarely seen in the Philippines, mostly in the foreign. Yeah, you can see many lift chairs for the elderly. It's com comfortable. So move on. I have a bean bag. That's the basic. Uh, dimension for bean bag. Uh, mostly bean bag is uh, like this. A little bean, but this is just for the measurements. So let's move on. Again. A lounge chair. A height chair lounge. So this is uh, seen in the filthy uh, rich families. Here we don't have that because we don't have backyard. So that's the basic dimension of the high lounge chair. So let's move on. You can pause the video if you want to see the dimension. So let's move on again. A foot to a This is rarely seen today because we all have modern appliances today. This kind of chair is mostly thrown out or sell in the junkyard, but it's still valuable. We're still present to the other homes, stay in the traditional side. So this is the basic dimensions again of the uh, uh, house. Sorry if, I, sorry if I pronounce it wrong. So let's open again. Uh, Ottoman. 
Uh, this is commonly seen uh, in. I I seen this kind of chair in the hospital. I I am al always in the os hospital because of my family members. This is uh as you can see again the basic measurements of uh, Ottoman. It's a uh, it's a resting chair. So like a waiting chair, some lobbies, or in the hotel. Move on. That's a recliner. It's like a lift chair also, but it's mostly for a lean back uh, type of posture to sit on. And this is fairly simple again. But this uh, chair also. That's the dimension of a chair, a recliner. A recliner. You can pause the video again. Let's remind you. A bar stool. Bar stool is uh, you can see you have a mini bar, mini bar in your home or in your kitchen. Watch the your mom. Dad, sister, like that. How many? I'm sitting on a bar stool right now. So for the just for the uh, that's the dimension of the uh, bar stool. It's a different but and it's high. So this one is a different. Uh, is uh, commonly seen in the hotel waiting area. It's like, uh, for someone, sometimes in your home, you can't really uh, see much of stuff with chair, like furnishings. Here, even I can uh, see. So let's move on. A fitting couch. The uh, dimensions of the chair or sofa. This is seen in the movies like in the late 1890s or 1990s. A fitting couch like a like that a Titanic, like that kind of couch. So let's move on. This is the dimension again. Okay. The dimension of the side. So let's move on. You won't get one. So a rocking chair. Here, this is not commonly used here in the Philippines. Because of the, it's, it's a rocking chair, of course. So forth. It is David while rocking. That's the dimension 16, no, 43, 5. Uh, see, you can pause the video or get, get the PDF. So let's move on. This is the rock chair. Commonly used in the park, especially there are many images. It's good. Or uh, if you're waiting for some images, uh, see you don't define. That's what I mentioned, and let's move on. A couch. Of course, everyone has it. Except uh, mostly. Mostly. Mostly we have so far. So our couch has different sizes. So this is just a reference. Ah, this is a five seater. Some of us is so let's move. Cat. Ah, it's seen in moments also. That's the measurements. So much measurements. 
tell positive. So let's move on to this board. The maiden board. It's basically a couch, but it's a late version. Most couches today is like modern type couches by artists. That's the dimension of the couch. It's mirrored. I'm sorry. So let's move on. Uh, a divan. Uh, this uh, doesn't have a uh, rest in the back. Uh, backboard. It doesn't have just a uh, armrest. So you can see one. That's the dimension of a uh, divan. So let's move on. I love it. This is a uh, two seater uh, sofa. Or couples, or not a large family. This is the um, I just have two seater sofa. So again, that's the measurement of the sofa. So this one, Chester Hill. It's a expensive, expensive sofa. It's handcrafted. Okay. It's man made. That's the dimension and some patterns of the Chester field. So let's move on. And it's really post the video. Go on. on. Oh. So we came to the bed furnishings. So, it's of course a bed. Uh, that's the, the this is the measurements for different sizes of bed, a twin, single, twin or single, twin, so extra large, so double, twin, king, California king. That's the measurements of the bed if you want to buy a specific type of size of bed. So, move on. Pump bed. Pump bed. Pump bed. This, this is for the kids. This is the measurements for the bunk bed, as you can see here. It's a full, uh, full measurements of the bunk bed, but it still has different things. A canopy bed. This is a full cool bed. You can decorate it whatever you like. You can plant something or something or put something to it. More vibe for the ambience. So let's move on. This is kind of a bit again. A mercy bit. This bit is a candy trap for. This is a Because this inserted the wall. But this is a still a specific size. It's for the mercy bit. As you can see there. A twin size and it can be a couch. So, so. Again, that's the Murphy bed. Let's move on. A platform bed. This is basically a, it's a platform, and you can you can put different size bed, but not an extra large one. If the size of the platform bed is, doesn't match with the Mattress, so it's a big no no. It's a platform bed and it's screen size, so it's like that. So let's move on. A water bed, of course. Does it describe a water bed? Yeah, one so cozy. It's a super single, a hard queen. A hard side king. That's the kind of measurement it has. It really doesn't have a size. You can use water bed. You can change to any size. A day bed. It's a retractable bed. It's a, it has a secondary here. You can lie down, lie down here. You can see some sofas like this. 
What's this really seen here? I seen one. It's good. I sleep on it too. So let's move on. This is the dimension of the David. A futon. It's like a mat, just a mattress, like it's all. It's good at mattress. We have one here. It's green size. So this is the side. Chair of man. Twin split. Twin off. I love it. I love what's one. A foot. Twin size split. Twin off a man. Twin. Scott. And a twin. That's a foot. Then that's a twin size. So let's move on again. A ham rock. This is always using the province side. Always stick on it. Uh, this is the measurements of it, so let's move on to the hammer. A headboard. This is just the headboard. You can install just if your mattress doesn't have a headboard. It's the, this is the measurements of the headboard. Spin and king size only. Oh, Infant bed. This is basically like crud. For the babies, the young ones, it's the basic measurements. You still have different sizes. And so let's go on. Sofa bed. As, as it describes it, sofa in the bed. Fine. It's fine. Uh, this is the basic. Oops. Basic sizes of the sofa bed. You can pause it if you like. So, let's move on. A toddler. This is the for your babies, like a uh, year old baby. Still big. Still big. This is the standard size and then mid size, depending on your preference. So, let's move on. We're in the entertainment friendships. So, let's start again. A billiard board. Ah. That's a standard side of the billiard board. Ah, this is rarely seen, but mostly seen by the time. We don't have the trust. Rich and rich. I don't know how to play billiard. So let's move on. A chessboard. It's really seen to this kind of type of chessboard. So that is basic measurements and the actual object of it. Finished product. So let's move on. An entertainment center. We all have that. It's basically the, the slot of the TV or some other like a cabinet or something. You can put speakers or something. Your vinyl collection, CD collection. Let's move on. This is the measurement again. You can pause it. A piano. It's, it's the measurement. Piano still, piano has uh, many measurements. This is just the basis. So let's move on. Now we go to tables. This kind of tables we have. So a countertop table. You can see that. This kind of uh, sizes, heights of the counter. Other top table, which is reference, the sizes, the human skill also, so you can understand or what your desire are size is. So let's move on. Jabudai, it's a Japanese table for partial skating. It's the measurements of the Jabudai. Seventy millimeter, seventy millimeter to four hundred. Move on. A changing table. A 
JG, changing variables for the others. So change your type, nappy, same. You can close. So let's move on. That's a changing table. I guess everyone has it. Uh, it's not not everybody. It's mostly we have this all over all over the house. It's the test. It's measurements. This is can be personalized. That's the best. Drawing board. Basically, draw is a drawing board where you draw. It's the sizes. It still has different sizes, but it's the available that I see. So let's move on. A computer desk. This is for your computer, of course. It has long surface to fit your monitor, PC, keyboard, mouse. If you want, well, clean up your speakers in the mic. Uh, this is the measurements. It still can be personalized. So let's move on. A writing desk. Uh, this is really seen today for the writers. Only they have this. That's the measurements of the writing table. So let's move on. You can still post the video if you want. Contact. That's it. It's a small uh, table. It's in many Japanese uh, Japanese films that they're using this. A blanket. What I mean. That's the sizes of the that's a pedestal. Everyone has it. Uh, again. Mostly has it a pedestal. You can just sip and put your wants, your coffee, your sample tea, or your drink. That's a pedestal. Put it there. Uh, this is the basic sizes, as you can see. So let's move on. This is a coffee table. I forgot the other thing. Sorry. So it's still fast. Other sizes can be round, top table. It depends on your case. Value, side view, view. Oh, the complete specification to the specification of the coffee table. Bar is the tiny table. Again, it's mostly we have this commonly seen different sizes and it can still be longer as you can see in the films they have massively long dining tables so let's move on again a reflector table i don't know this one i've never seen it as you can see here it's like a a CEO type of table. This unit of pens. It's a reflectory table. You see one table. That's a basically uh, another table. That's the dimension of it. You can't really see it. So a folding table. Basically, it's a folding table. The basic size of it can be bought to everyone. So we have storage furnishing. This is only a list. We got so many. It, and it will just board. Let's go on with the list. Uh, oh, so we have the bookcase, the cabinet tree. The bathroom cabinet, the water room, the closet, the cupboard, the actual cabinet, the gun cabinet, the gun cabinet, the windows, the hunch, 
wooden cabinet, kitchen cabinet, paper cabinet, pantry, a uh, pie safe, a step, a bamboo, a chef, a chest of drawer or dresser, a cement, a cement, a different type of uh, storage in the furniture. So we have a chest and a red chest, hope chest, a coat rack, a, another coat rack, a drawer, poultry, hat stand, bar cabinet, filling cabinet, look, shelf, nightstand, another stand. So another type of storage is ottoman, uh, plant chest. Stand stand, shelving, sideboard, or like that. With it, umbrella stand, umbrella stand again, warp room, or um, um, not a Hawaiian room. Uh, just a storage for specific uh, things like a coat rack, a white rack, that a hot stand, the white cabinet, basically, because just coats. So let's move on. That's the uh, storage list. It's really search, search this. If you're curious what it looks like. So let's move on. Types of classified by material. This is the type of finishing in its materials. As you can see plant and that. So let's move on. This is now this as their type of wood furniture and others are bamboo. Others are weaker or a tan type of uh, material that it's used in the furnishings. Other are plastic or acrylic. Some of some of them are glass or concrete or both. Bombay furniture, also known as black furniture. So that's my, my part. So let's go to Miss Monique and Miss Ainsa for non ferrous -fer shoes and ferrous -fer material. material. Take it away. Good morning or good afternoon, sir and classmates. So, this is all about ferrous metal. What is ferrous metal? Ferrous metal derived from the Latin word iron, which means ferrum. The term ferrous is used to describe metals that contains iron. Examples of such alloys include steel and cast iron. We will represent a brief primer on the different types of ferrous metals and their uses. So the first one is mild steel. Mild steel is also known as plain carbon steel. It is an alloy typically made up of 0.3 carbon with 97% iron. Mild steel is commonly used given it is malleability can be found in everyday objects such as cars, households, households appliances, street signs, and even key rings. It is also the most commonly produced form of steel given its relatively low price and material properties that are applicable across industries. Carbon steel. The second one is carbon steel. These are metals with a higher carbon composition, 0.3 to 1.7%. The higher carbon content means that carbon steel is harder and stronger, true less ductile. Carbon steel is frequently used in metal cutting tools and machinery, given its strength and resistance to wear and tear. Knives, saws, saw, and drill bits are also manufactured using carbon steel. Yeah. 
the third one is carbon steel. These are metals. Ay. The third one is stainless steel. Unlike carbon steel, stainless steel is made up of iron, nickel, and chromium. The composition of this alloy makes it, makes it corrosion resistant and is ideal for manufacturing cutlery. cutlery. The third one is stainless steel. Unlike carbon steel, stainless steel is made up of iron, nickel, and chromium. The composition of this alloy makes its corrosion resistant and is ideal for manufacturing cutlery, surgical instruments, and other household appliances. Stainless steel is also used in bridges and other architectural works, given its high durability and shine. The fourth one is cast iron. Cast iron is typically produced by melting pig iron together with quantities of other substances such as scrap iron, steel, limestone, and carbon. The liquid mixture is then poured into a cast to solidify. This alloy is rich in carbon, 2 to 19%, and silicon, 1 to 3%. Different alloying elements present in the compound determine the type of cast iron produced. The resulting alloy may range from the more brittle types to the malleable cast irons. Depending on its properties, cast iron has varied uses. It can be found in engine, cylinder blocks, bearing surface, and cooking utensils. The fifth one is rough steel. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower is constructed from rough iron? A, rel a, a relatively low carbon alloy, 0.08%. Rough iron is a semi-fused semi mass of iron and slag, a glass-like by product containing metal oxides and silicon dioxide. It is highly malleable and resistant to corrosion. Rough iron was commonly used in the past, featuring in, the, in items such as railways, horseshoes, and gates. However, production of rough iron today has ceased owning, owing, uh, availability of steel. I'm going to discuss about non-ferrous metals. Non-ferrous metals. When a metal is defined as non-ferrous, it means that it doesn't have a significant amount of iron in its chemical compositions. Um, a non-ferrous alloy generally have iron composition and less of less than 1% of measured of type by weight. So, ferrous, non-ferrous metals are used because of desired properties such as low weight, higher conductivity, non-magnetic property, or resistance to cor corrosion. Some non-ferrous materials are also used in the iron and steel industries. So here are the types of non-ferrous metals. We have copper, aluminum, lead, tin, and zinc. So first we have copper. Copper is red in color. It is highly ductile, malleable, and has high conductivity for electric and heat. Copper is principally used in the electrical industry in form of wire and other conductors. So it is used for making cables and wires for electric application. It is also used for electroplating and it and it and it can also be used for muni munitions and tubes in elect engineering applications. Second we have aluminum. Aluminum is a lightweight, soft and low strength. It is easily cast 
forge, machined, and weld. It is not suitable for high temperature environments. This aluminum is a lightweight. It is a good choice for manufacturing aircrafts and food cans. Aluminum is also used in casting, pistons, railways, cars, and kitchen utensils. Next we have is lead. Lead is a soft yet heavy variable metal with a low melting point and low tensile strength. It, it, it can withstand the corrosion of moisture and many acids. Lead is, a widely, is widely used in the electrical power cables, batteries, building constructions, and solid, solid rings. The next one is zinc. It is a non ferrous metal and has many benefits, beneficial properties such as low density, unique conductivity, corrosion resistance, and a non-magnetic -magnet nature. These properties make zinc ideal for several applications across a diverse range of industries. Unlike steel, zinc has the ability to self annihilate during a successive forming of operations. Um, it can also modify the base metal conductivity of zinc through alloying over a wide range. And the last one is tin. Tin is a very soft and malleable. It is a ductile with a low dense tensile strength. It is often used to coat steel to prevent it from corrosion. So tin plate is a type of architectural material consisting of sheet, iron, and steel coated with tin. Tin roofs is a type of tin plate that was originally used for armor but eventually as a roofing material. Tin plate was also used for decorations such as or ornamental windows, door lintels, and stamped ceilings. Thank you.